Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. This is Musa. That meets him, Junior. So in in Kampala, Uganda. Well, it's early morning. I guess maybe about seven a.m. and we just, it just, we just had a little rain here in Uganda, and I just had my coffee, so I'm a, I'm, I'm awake and I'm looking at my computer and it looks like I don't have too much time to talk. I have to plug it in if I'm going to do a, a, a very long broadcast, but I'm going to try to get as much in as I can before I run out of juice my computer. I'm still concerned with E equal MC squared. My concern is a reaction to E equal MC squared. And the thing that uh, I find quite interesting and exciting is that at this point of the of the, of the game, I guess you at this stage of the game, I guess you can say, I've come up with something. I've come up with something. At this point in time, we have realized that infinitive is relative. And then now that we know that infinitive is relative, and then we are actually dealing, when we, when we deal with D equal MC squared, we're dealing with an uh, uh, equation that deals with relativity. So, um, I, I, I think we are going in the right direction, but we were trying to you know, find this formula to save humanity. Uh, these are, these are the formula which came before the one that I'm working on, which that formula was E equal MC squared. But now we know that infinitive is, in, is an essential aspect of, real, of reality. And so we know that, 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 that in, in E equal MC squared, the idea of infinitive exists, and the idea of uh, relativity exists in Einstein's theory. So we've isolated the variable. That variable is infinitive. Now, the next variable that we want to deal with now is the variable L, love. Love. Okay, let's. If you follow, if you're following me, if you have looked at uh, my previous broadcast, you will remember that the idea of the concept of love was probably sermonized by the theologian Jesus Christ, and so that made me sort of think that that L uh, variable was essential. In other words. If we're trying to preserve or keep humanity going, then it does have something to do with compassion. And compassion and love are almost inter interchangeable. So, my formula, not my formula, that formula it exists, the formula that I am trying to uh, discover. It, I'm absolutely positive that infinitive is a part of that formula. And I'm convinced that the concept of love is also a part of that uh, uh, formula to save humanity. We're trying to save humanity. Compassion. Compassion. So it makes a lot of sense. And, that's, and I think that now that we have isolated infinitive, I think now I should delve on the concept of love, of compassion, human compassion. For it is human compassion that keeps the human being alive. Human beings, we, when we see another human being, when we, a human being, not a beast, but just a human being, when we see another human being suffer, 
something within in, within us, it, it, something within that human being, is 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 exciting. And I think that thing that ex, that's excited or it, it reacts to our suffering is is that sentiment of compassion. So I think that now that I've we did a, a discussion on infinity. I think now I should move on well with the discussion of, of compassion or love of L. L is it is is a variable in our equation to save humanity. How how else can we save humanity unless we love humanity? If we hated humanity, which is the opposite of love, then we would be concerned with destroying humanity. So if we love humanity, then I think that has a lot to do with whether or not humanity continues. Now, I, if you will follow me, in one of my broadcasts, I said that I said that we never die. We never die. We were talking about, now we're talking about the devil. When I say we never die, now we are talking about infinity or the concept of everlasting. And it, it only shows how important that the concept of infinity is. If you, if you were following me, we talked about infinity, how infinity can be this, infinity can be this, 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 or that. The relativity of infinity. The, the, the idea of everlasting. So we, we know that that infinitive is a part, a part of the formula. Now we're going to deal with the concept of love, of compassion. See, in order for man to continue to exist, man must love man. Man must love man in the way that God defined how man should love man. And I think what happens when man began to love man different, differently from which was, which was how we, it was orchestrated for man to love man, then we, that's when we went into a problem. In fact, let's talk about man loving man. Okay, man loving man and man loving woman. Now, what is happening is that uh, in, in uh, creation, if, if we understand, God created man and woman. But then somewhere down the line, we, we've corrupted it, and now it, in our present existence, we talk of man loving man, which I thought, I, I seriously believe is a violation of what the Creator designed us all for. He gave us certain instruments that define who we were. Of course, I know that, well, oh, Sometimes God say, look, let me make this man this way. We know that certain, there, there's certain, we consider things, certain things we consider abnormal. Or, well, you know, a man with a man, a human being with two sex organs, we would look at it, say, oh, that's, that's out of the ordinary. Even though that is an exception and it does exist and God creates that. There's a certain type of way that we have to interpret that action. But we're still talking about love. We're talking about pure love. We're talking about clean love. We're talking about ethical love. We're talking about the way love was designed for man and woman. But then there's a, a man can love a man, not sexually. That's compassion. A man can love a woman. Sexually, because man was designed to love a woman sexually. We're talking about love. There are many types of love. I mean, you must love your, you love our child, we love our brother, we love our sister, we love our tribesmen, we love our, our, our neighbor, we love our pet. So, what we're doing, what I'm doing now is that I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna isolate concept of love and then we're going to deal with it. Now, 
what has happened now at this very moment is that we've isolated isolated infinitives. We we know that infinitive means everlasting, and we also know that infinitive is also relative. It's relative. That's one key thing that we understand about infinitive. Infinitive is relative. That is, I think that is a key concept, a key issue that we must, that, that I, I think we've come up uh, 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 across a very important issue, a very important aspect. Infinitive is, is relative. We've at least established that with one of our variables, I, that infinitive is relative. Love. But look, one thing about relativity is that relativity, okay, I'm going to make this assumption that relativity is, uh, is the Relativity is eternal. Relativity. Now we're getting back to infinity. When I say relative or relativity exists in everything. And when we say everything, and when we say infinity, we're talking it seems to me that we're talking about related concepts. We're still holding. We'll talk when we say everything. And infinitive with those concepts are closely related. So we, ooh, this infinitive thing is is quite profound. But we're talking about love now. Now, what I need to do is to go juice up with my computer because I'm, I'm, I see that I'm getting ready to juice out. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say this is Musa. Matt Beecham Jr. signing out in Kampala, Uganda. But I guarantee, as soon as I juice up my computer, I will get back to you. Signing out.